Hello and welcome again to another tips and trick video here from Switch. Uh, as always, my name is Kant and today for this particular short video, I would like to share with you some amazing tips and tricks that you can use for your Mac, in this case, Bootcamp. Bootcamp is a cool software that allows you the ability to run Windows directly on the Mac without any other software required. This is different from VirtualBox that we covered previously. And if you missed that, please check out the links for that particular video. Having said that, it's about Bootcamp. Let's get started. Welcome to my desktop running macOS 10.12 Sierra. As always, with any of my tips and tricks videos, I will use a number of teaching aids. In this case, whenever I click my mouse on the screen, you will see feedback to show you where I'm clicking. Also, you can also see me zooming in, zooming out, to focus your attention on areas of the screen that would be otherwise too small to see on the normal full screen video. Now, let's talk about Bootcamp. And before we actually go to the details, you need to know where Bootcamp is. So let's start by going to Spotlight. Click on Spotlight on the upper right corner of your screen. Type the words Bootcamp, B-O-O-T. You'll notice there's something called Bootcamp Assistance. Double click on it and welcome to Bootcamp Assistant. In case you want to find it yourself manually, make sure you're in the Finder, go to your Applications folder, scroll down until you see Utilities just after Time Machine, double-click to open it, and inside you have the Bootcamp Assistant. Whichever way you go, welcome to the Bootcamp Assistant. So let me zoom in, and you can see that it says here that Bootcamp Assistant helps install Microsoft Windows on an Intel-based Mac by downloading the necessary support software and creating a partition on this for Windows and then starting the Windows installer. So please understand that what you're doing with Bootcamp Assistant is quite drastic because it's going to partition your drive. And as always, there's a risk and chance of failure which may cause you to lose your data. So notice that it has important information here, back up your disk. So if you haven't done so, please try doing a backup with Time Machine because it's very important. Another thing is, it says that it helps to install Microsoft Windows, but it does not provide a Microsoft Windows installer. So before I click on continue, you would do best if you actually pay a visit to your Safari web browser and check out the Apple support site. The links for that will be provided in, as part of this video's tips and trick, but the most important is the basic how to install Windows using Bootcamp. So, as you can see over here, it's actually very straightforward. Make sure you have everything you need. You need an Intel-based Mac. You need a Windows installation media. We'll get to that in a short while. You need a keyboard, mouse, and trackpad. Pretty straightforward. And definitely the most important thing, you need 55 gigabyte of free disk space on your startup drive. Now, this may not seem obvious, but if you're using a MacBook Air with 128 gigabyte of storage, or MacBook Pro Retina with a 256 gigabyte of storage, if you haven't actually checked your storage usage, chances are you might have already ran out of space and you really, really need at least 55 gigabyte. Okay, and this is just for using it. To install, you need an external USB 2 flash drive. Okay, and not, remember, some models don't require it. So check your system requirement, get the Windows disk image. You can use the link over here from Microsoft. And what happens is you can download a Windows 10 disk image. Windows 10 is my personal recommendation. It's quite a good version of Windows. Select the edition, in this case, Windows 10, and confirm and then download it, okay? So you will need your serial number, of course, from your packaging if you purchase Windows 10 from outside. Once you have all the things you need, open the Bootcamp Assistant, which is what you had. Format the Windows partition. This is when you restart into Windows. And then just follow the on-screen prompt for installing Windows. The, the time taken to do this will take anywhere between one hour to two hours, depending on the speed of a computer and your storage type. So for the sake of this, downloading Windows 10, this image, this link I'll provide it in this tips and tricks video. And for additional details, here's another detail. Use Windows 10 on Mac for Bootcamp. It actually gives you an example of things you need to follow, like what version features are supported, because you have to understand that not all features on your Mac are supported in Windows 10. So always understand the limitation and what Mac is supported in Windows 10. 
So with that being said, let's get back to Bootcamp Assistant. Let me click on continue. So right now, you perform. So I need to create a Windows 7 and install this. I need the flash drive. I need to download the latest Windows support software and I need to install. So these are what I want. Notice that this is unable to be selected. That's because it's going to download a specific set of driver files for your Mac. So if you're going to run Bootcamp, you need to run it on the Mac that you're using in order to get the correct drivers. That means you cannot ask your friend to run Bootcamp system on their Mac to download the drivers. It has to be on your Mac. So once you have everything over here, you've made sure that you got the installation this. In this case, I already got it. My license, Windows 10 installation disk. I'm going to be clicking on continue. So now it says you need to insert a USB drive to proceed. So make sure you plug in your USB drive and continue. So right now I'm going to be plugging in my external drive. Let me click on OK. So right now on the desktop, I do plug in a one terabyte drive. I'm going to click on continue. Notice that it immediately find out my external hard drive. That's the destination disk. Notice it also says that the data on the drive will be lost after it's formatted. You also notice that it asks you to select an ISO image. Just in case you did not find your ISO image, click on choose and select the ISO they've downloaded from Microsoft. In this case, Windows 10. Once you're done, click on continue. It'll give you a warning to say that the drive will be erased and all data will be lost. So be careful if you're using a drive that contains your personal data. Click on continue and it's going to format it and prepare it to have all the data from Bootcamp transferred over. In case your drive is very big, you actually have a time machine prompt. Please ensure that you don't use it. In fact, if you just leave it as it is, you can ignore it. Notice that it's still preparing it. This is normal. Now it's going to copy the Windows file. That means anything from the ISO into the external hard drive. And finally, it's going to start downloading the driver files. This will take a while. Downloading the driver files can take anywhere between 40 minutes or more, depending on the speed of your connection here in Malaysia. But be patient and let it run. So you can go have a cup of coffee, get a tea, or sit down and relax and wait. Okay, so right now, if you notice, what is being displayed as a status is that it's now downloading the Windows support software. And my estimated download time is about five minutes or so. So this current stage means that you already finished transferring the ISO, that means the information from your downloaded Windows disk into the external hard drive, and now it's downloading the necessary drivers for your Mac and then transferring it over to the external drive. Now, this process can take anywhere between 30 to 40 minutes. In my case, because I'm using my office very, very fast internet connection, uh, it's actually quite fast over here, about three minutes to eight minutes. So I'm going to let it go on until it's finished downloading and I'll come back again to show you what's going to happen next. Right now, as you can see, on the screen, as you zoom in, it's now reaching the end of the process and it's now saving the Windows support software. And right now, you notice that it gives you a warning message saying that you need to key in your password. In this case, it's referring to your computer's Mac password because it's going to be doing a very heavy duty partitioning of your hard drive. This requires administrator rights. That means you need to have the password for your Mac in order to proceed. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to key in the password of my Mac, click on OK, and now select the hard drive that I want to split it. Notice that I actually have two drives here. This is for the sake of demonstration. And for one of them, it says that the disk does not have enough free space to be partitioned. Remember I said earlier that I need 55 gigabyte of free disk space? That's what I mean. This is not sufficient. This, however, has sufficient space. And it gives me a few options, like creating a second partition of Windows or erase the disk and become a single partition of Windows. This is very useful if you have actually two physical drives on your Mac. For example, if you're using a Mac Pro or perhaps you're using an iMac with dual drives, you can try this. In this case, I'm going to click on Continue 
and I'm going to click on my password. If necessary, you will need to clean the password a few times. Welcome to the Windows setup for Windows 10 right here on my iMac. Now, if you have been following the instructions earlier, the last part requires you to key in your password for the Mac. Once you key in the password, you will restart the Mac and you will start doing a partitioning. So again, depending on what you've selected, if it's a single drive Mac, it may be split into two at the size that you want. Or if you have a, lucky enough to have a two drive Mac, you actually select one drive to be fully utilized for Windows. Regardless of whichever you choose, your computer, your Mac will boot from the external drive and you'll come into this Windows setup. So we're going to proceed with the Windows setup. It's actually very straightforward. So let's go through the steps. So first of all, obviously, you're going to select the language, time and currency format. Depending on what you want, you can actually select the country. So let's see if I can find English for Malaysia for the time format. My keyboard and input method should be United States because the Max sold in Malaysia uses the US keyboard layout. Once you've done with the initial selection, click on Next, key in the product key. This is very important. If you don't have a product key, you will not be able to proceed to the next part. Now, if you really don't have it, you can click on I don't and install it first. Once it's completed, you will still have to key in the product key in the end. So depending on your product key, please select the correct version of the operating system. It could be Windows 10 Pro if you're installing for business, but most of us should be Windows 10 Home. And that's why we're selecting. Over here, you can see the architecture is x64 because Windows 10, you can install either x64 or x32. For Macs, it's always x64, that's 64 bit. So I'm gonna click on next and I'm gonna let it run. Accept the license term, click on next. And now we're going to be formatting the drive. Now this is very important because you need to prepare the drive for installing of Windows. And you'll notice that there's so many drives here. So this is a bit of an extreme case. Having said that, the most important drive partition you need to select is the one that says Bootcamp. Ignore everything else. Focus purely on the drive called Bootcamp. The size is dependent on what you have selected earlier in Mac Bootcamp Assistant. If you decide to split your drive into two, you'll see the size of the drive over here based on the size we have split. If you selected a dedicated drive, that is if you have a Mac that has two drives, then you'll see the drive that is selected over here. Whichever you've selected, make sure that you completely format it. So formatting means that it wipes out whatever is on this drive. This is to prepare it for Windows, and this is a very important step that you must do. So once you click on OK, it's going to format this particular bootcamp drive, okay? And once it's done, this is what we're going to use. And we're going to click on next if necessary. So now we're going to select where we're going to install Windows. The most important is to select the one that has bootcamp. And once you're done, you've already formatted it. Click on next. So once you have reached the completion of the download, of all the driver files and the creation of the external drive, the next part now is to actually select and create a partition. If you're using a normal Mac, you usually only have one drive, in this case, Macintosh HD. Select it and create a second partition for Windows. If you are lucky enough that your Mac have a second drive, you have additional options, including creating a single partition for Windows on the entire drive. For the sake of this video, I will start with a second partition for Windows on the existing Mac drive. Keep in mind, you still need about 55 gigabyte of storage space. With that being said, in this mode, you can now divide and split how much space you want to give to Windows. In this case, I will give Windows 50 gigabytes if possible and leave the remainder to Mac. You can of course divide equally if you have a lot of free space, 
but it really depends on your use. If you use Windows a lot, maybe you run a lot of games and you need a lot of space, you might need to give a lot of storage space for Windows. Once you're satisfied with whichever you want to choose, click on install and you'll need to key in your password. Now, once you key in your password, your Mac will restart. So make sure that you've actually saved whatever documents you have in preparation for restarting. And when you restart it, you will start booting from Windows. After a number of restarts, you will come to this screen. This is the setup menu to complete Windows 10 setup. Here, it gives you an option to use Express Setting, and this is what I would recommend because it saves a lot of time. If you have the time to check through everything, click on Customize. But for the sake of this video, use Express Setting. Next, key in a username for this computer. So I'm going to use Kent for the sake of example and enter a password if possible. I'm going to skip the password here. I'm going to click on Next. Over here, it asks you to set up Cortana. I recommend that you use it. And then just wait. And now, it starts the animation to enter Windows 10. So now you are now inside the Windows 10 desktop and you notice that the first thing you will see is the Welcome to Bootcamp Installer. So this is where you will need to install all the other subsequent drivers that are included in the Bootcamp Assistant download. So it's quite straightforward. Click on Next, accept the license agreement, click on Install. Once the installation is done, you might be required to restart Windows 10, but that is the last step. Once the installation is completed, your Windows 10 in Bootcamp is ready and you're good to go. So with that, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Support us on social media. Like us and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and so on and so forth. And uh, please leave your comment and suggest anything that you'd like to know in our tips and tricks video. This is Ken from Switch saying thank you so much for watching and goodbye.